Hi everyone, it's me Keith. Welcome to another computer related tutorial. For more tips and tricks regarding these topics, please feel free to subscribe and hit on the notification button. Okay, let's go. Hi guys, it's me Keith again. This time I'm going to teach you on how we are going to do or create a 2D landscape art and at the same time animation in Microsoft PowerPoint. First, we need to format the background. Click on Gradient Fill. Under Gradient Fill, you will be seeing a lot of sliders here. Now, you will be able to notice that on the leftmost slider, this will be the topmost part. So I'm going to change the color into something like um, darkish blue and violet. So what I'm trying to portray in here it's like I'm going to create a night sky change this slider as well to something like violet you can adjust the sliders according to your preference you can play with them until you are satisfied with how it looks I'm going to change this one to white okay I'm just going to drag this one a little bit here and this one here so that would look like some sort of a horizon once it's done, click on apply to all, then close. So this will be our default background. Now the next thing that we are going to do is to insert under shapes. And we have a couple of shapes in here. So the first shape that I'm going to look for is this one. This is the free form or the scribble. So the main purpose of this one is you can draw, draw something from here. Let me draw this one first for you guys. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. It might look like a little bit crappy, but it's okay. So I'm just going to change the shape fill from here. So more fill colors. So again, I'm going to choose this tone since I'm going to play with the violet and blue tone for this. Of course, you need to satisfy yourself on how it looks. So for me, I need to change the color that would satisfy my eye. Okay, something like that so this one is good enough so I'm going to change the shape outline to no line next is I'm going to zoom this one out make this one a little bit bigger now as you can see there is some sort of excess drawing on the side although it will not be viewed by the time we're going to create the presentation however I just want to show you on how we're going to trim them so I'm going to draw a rectangle from here there Next is I'm going to highlight both of these shapes. Then go to merge shapes. Then I'm going to choose intersect. This one. Okay. Now as you can see it changed back into its default color. So what I'm going to do is just to change it back. Okay. And I'm going to change the outline. There you go. I can adjust this one a little bit more here. Up next is I'm going to insert another one. This time I'm going to use this tool, okay? So it's like the right triangle. Because I'm going to show you on how we are going to modify a simple shape into something like a drawing type of uh, shape or distort them. So this is the right triangle. So this will portray us a side mountain for our landscape. So first is I'm going to change the shape fill into something like more of in here this tone change it to something like this outline should be removed as well I right click click on edit points then I'm going to add point so as you can see once I've added a new point I can modify the nodes we call this one as node okay so just right click on the side and add point then automatically you can change the sides of the shape there you go so I think this one is good enough up next is um, I'm going to create some sort of an ocean so just a simple shape maybe a rectangle will do I'm going to draw it from here next is I'm going to change the ordering of this one since this is on the top and we want the mountain to be on the top and course the C is in the bottom so I'm just going to click on send to back so 
so that is how it's going to look like again i'm going to uh, move this one a little bit adjust the sides now once it's okay i'm going to change the outline or remove the outline there you go up next is i'm going to change under drawing tools change the shape feel go to gradient and check on or click on more gradients so under gradient fill option i'm going to play with the colors here now if you don't need a particular color you can remove it from here there you go so i only have three sliders this time so it's easier for me to change the color depending on your mood so i'm going to choose the default ocean colors it's kind of dark already so let me change this one to something like a lighter one okay perfect so this is an ideal ocean already up next is i'm going to insert a couple more drawing here so i'm going to choose scribble now here's another trick guys if you want to draw more accurately it's better if you're going to zoom in your presentation area so i'm just going to draw something like a pine tree from here I'm not really good in drawing guys, but I can assure you that this one would really look good later on. That's it. So once it's okay, again I'm going to choose, uh, remove the shape outline and choose the color, okay, for this one. Zoom it out again, and I'm going to make this one as, of course, a tree for the frontmost landscape or land form that we have. Now I think it's okay now guys, so the next thing that we are going to do is to insert additional elements. So here I'm going to draw another mountain. However, I'm not satisfied with it so I'm just going to go with uh, the more colors option. Remove the outline. Up next is, again, I'm going to trim this area. The rectangle highlight both of them intersect once it's done I'm going to create another one So I think that's it. So we already have created a simple, minimalist, and silhouette-ish landscape in PowerPoint. However, we're not done with that one. We need to add a couple of elements on the sky. So zoom it in a little bit. Drag it upwards. This time I'm going to create some sort of a star. Now if ever I'm going to draw something, I still need to change the fill as well as remove the outline. But if you're kind of tired of doing that one every time you're going to create a shape you can just right click on that one and set as default shape so by the time you're going to draw another one what's going to happen is it will automatically be on the sh uh, automatically be white okay something like that since that is the first reference for our first shape that we've created a while ago so I'm just going to populate this one I think that's it. This time we're going to create some sort of a moon here. I don't know if it's a moon or a sun but definitely it's in the sky. So it's just circle. However, we are going to click on shape effects, go to glow and we have a couple of uh, colors here but I'm going to prefer to use white. Oops, it's not working so I'm just going to click, click that one again. More glow colors and there you go. If you're not satisfied with the glow, you can always change it under glow and go to glow options. Here you can change the size as well as the transparency of the effect. You can just play with the sliders if you want. Once it's okay, click on close, then that's it. 
so we're done actually we're done with the 2d landscape art up next is we are going to add animations to that click on the object wish which you wish to add an animation click on fly in it's kind of fast and at the same time it's in the front of everything else so i'm going to change this one by sending it to back then click on preview now it's okay however it's still fast so click on animation pane then you can play with this area right here this is the speed so you can just drag it outwards and you will see that the effect is already slowing down a little bit okay so if you're satisfied with it then it's okay however we're not yet done with it because if ever you're going to click on this it will not come out unless you're going to click your mouse and we don't want that one to happen so since the main purpose of this one is automation so i'm just going to click on it click here then choose effect options go to timing then the startup type i'm going to change this one to let's say after previous click ok from beginning i'm just going to wait for a couple of seconds and automatically it will come out okay so actually that is it so that is how you are going to create a 2d landscape art and animation in microsoft powerpoint so if you have any questions if you have any tutorials in mind please feel free to subscribe bye for now okay guys i hope you have learned from that one so if you have any requests and other topics that you have in mind please feel free to message us and of course hit the subscribe and notification button for more updates okay so bye for now